You could call it a stop sign on the road to reopening. Two South Florida mayors are now putting face to three of the reopening of reopening their cities on pause thanks to a recent increase in coronavirus cases. And that increase is reminding South Florida residents that despite all our recent progress, the coronavirus is still a danger to all of us. And a new model from the University of Washington is echoing those concerns. It predicts more than 200,000 deaths in the United States by October 1st. And here in Florida, there are more than 77,000 cases statewide with nearly 3,000 deaths. Miami-Dade still leads all of the counties with just more than 22,000 cases and 826 deaths. Broward has more than 9,000 cases and 358 deaths, while Monroe is reporting 130 cases and four deaths. And it's because of that increase that our local leaders are reminding us that we must maintain social distancing guidelines. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is joining us live from Brickell this morning with their message. Brooke, good morning. Hey ladies, good morning. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez said he and his team have been keeping a close eye on those coronavirus numbers. He said they are looking at increased testing, Memorial Day, and what he says is a particular uptick in cases for 18 to 35 year olds. He said based on those numbers, his city is not ready for phase three. Businesses seeing customers, people back to work, and coronavirus cases. Yes, there is more testing with coronavirus cases setting records, just as South Florida is adjusting to the new normal. We want to emphasize that now is not a time to let your guard down. So is another shutdown in the works. One thing officials will be looking at, coronavirus hospital admissions. Our hospitalizations, which seem to be uh, at in a stable place. Uh, they're somewhere between 62 to 66 percent capacity. So for now, no rollback on our reopening. However, phase three, which would see the openings of sports venues, bars and nightclubs is on hold as cases increase. A major opening on the comeback from the coronavirus, the Miami-Dade County beaches. Social distancing there, a mandate. The all clear sign has not been given simply since we're reopening. In fact, the only way we are reopening and the only reason we can reopen is because we did, I think, conscientiously follow all of these various measures. County Mayor Carlos Jimenez, who has never been shy about the possibility of closing down again, also leaning on hospital numbers, not so much cases. Today, we have 607 people, patients in hospitals, exactly the same number that we had back on June 1st. We have plenty of hospital capacity for regular beds, ICU beds, and ventilators. And another guidepost for county officials assessing the coronavirus impact. When you check our medical examiner's office for the daily COVID numbers, you will see that the number of deaths on average continues to drop. At this point. Now, Mayor Jimenez said that police have been busy recently with those demonstrations here in South Florida, but he said they will soon start ramping up compliance checks at local retail shops and restaurants. I'm live in Brickell, Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4 this morning.